Hey there, welcome to Blink Skills. This is Zeon. Today we're going to learn how to export a list of files to a CSV file, comma separated values file, using Windows PowerShell. And of course, the comma separated values file can be opened in Microsoft Excel or any other spreadsheet application worth its name, worth its salt. Let's go ahead and begin. We're focused in the blue. PowerShell window here at the top. Okay, let's begin by pulling a list of files in C Windows, which of course we can also do using get child item and then the variable, which is env window. Okay, now we have that already a video on how to pull the file list export it to a text file so we're not going to waste a lot of time on that instead we're going to make things real interesting which is convert to CSV now we've just converted this to comma separated values we then go ahead and we can put that into a file called winder.csv you can call it whatever you want okay validate that looks pretty good let's go ahead and open up excel And while we're waiting for Excel to open, let's go ahead and show you something different. You can also simply use, in modern versions of PowerShell, export-csv. And then that will also be another way to get the file there. All right. Look at those. Notice how there is a size difference. So we use one command, export CSV, that gave us a smaller file than winder.csv. And the difference being, this is how we got exp.csv, this is how we got winder.csv. Let's take a look and examine any differences. So we're going to open workbook and we're going to browse. And what we want to do is the easiest way here for me is user profile. Okay. And then from here we have a folder called temp. Now CSVs are not natively Excel files, so of course we're going to do all files here. Notice the size difference. Let's begin with Winder. And we want delimited. We want comma, not tab. Okay, the rest of this we can keep. And then here, now we have our list of files with more detail than you probably will ever want. But as we can see here, there goes our list of files, complete with things like creation time, creation time in UTC, last access time, and so forth. You can also see whether or not it's a directory, it's a file, or an archive, as they say, which is a file. You can also see the extension of the file. And this is a great method. Using CSVs is a great method to become familiar with the various fields that are available to you. So you can see right there that there's an extension quality here, or property, 
that shows you what the file extensions are. That's something that you can do some interesting things in, in terms of filtering and branching your scripts. Okay. Now, again, this is the one that we used or that we created using the longer method, convert to CSV and out file dot window dot CSV. Let's go back. And let's do this one. Now, immediately we can see that, uh, well, let's see. So this one goes all the way out to column W. Okay. And then EXP goes out to column W. So we've missed no content, but if we notice, we have a smaller file size with exp.csv. Let's also make sure we have the same number of rows, 108 populated rows. And then let's go over to exp. And we also have 108 populated rows. So quite a size difference there. So between the two, we have a clear winner in terms of saving system resources which is you can do the longer method convert to CSV, which comes in very handy if you're going to massage the data at any point in the PowerShell command line. But for basic use, export CSV works fine and it uses less data. So you now understand how to export a file list to a comma separated value file using Windows PowerShell and Microsoft Windows. This is a blink skill. It is a building block on which you can build other building blocks and other skills, allowing you to do many more complex things with your scripting, many more complex things with your Windows system administration. And you now have the skill. This is Eon. This is Blink Skills. Thank you for watching.